Hello everyone, this is Yaris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Mandate of Heaven Don't Draw Let's Play as we continue for episode 2 from turn 19 in the harvest season of 186. So, we completed Shrofan last time, but we're under attack. Uh, this is not too difficult to deal with, we can just delegate with the army that we summoned. And we want to recall them because we can't really afford them. Hopefully some unit are too expensive. And we want to try to unlock Helvero before he dies of old age. And then we're going to shift our main force over here. We probably need an army here to take care of the rebels. Going to summon our brother so that he can maybe level up. And then... When the cooldown end for Gosse and Ijue, we'll summon them for free, and they should be able to take her down, and maybe we'll get the item. It's not a big deal. It's not an item that we really need. And it takes this army at least two turns to get there, and we should be there in time. Can't do anything else. Let's see if we can get paid, because we are really poor right now. I suspect... Back, he's not gonna yeah he's not gonna pay very much per turn 36 can we get 37 here oh we can okay it's not much but we'll take it now the obey might get wiped by the yellow turbans hopefully not too soon Alright, that's pretty much all we're going to get. And let's end turn here. I think because Unding's taken by Yuan Yi's force, we probably want to just take out the looters and then head over here and see if we can confederate Ding Yuan's faction from event, maybe fight some bandits, maybe fight some yellow turbans and go from there. Alright, their army did a move, which means we are definitely going to be able to make it. Control actually worked for us historically. One of the three generals to retake Chang'an alongside Li Zhu and Guo Si. And the three of them are basically the three power players, but the two of them ended up killing Control, so it became sort of a two people shared power instead of three. Alright, we're going to wear that, give him a little bit more authority on top. How much experience do we have? 5,900. Let's see if we can gain a little bit more and have him level up. Because his skills are going to give some nice faction-wide bonus. Oh, we overflowed by a little bit. We didn't get the item, but she's still alive. We might still be able to get it. I think what we can do is... We have a lot more options this turn. 13.8. Can we get a big cash payment? Yeah, he's holding on to a lot of things. 13.8 would be... A little less than this. Somehow this value shifted when we played around with that. Oh, he's actually pretty loaded. 6.7. Can we give him one food? Alright, 8.2 is kind of what we're aiming for. We're just doing a quick comparison. Okay, lump sum's gonna be better.
by a little bit. Okay, way better. Runi Soya. Probably not very much. Okay, surprisingly more than I thought. All right, last one here. It's actually quite close. <laughs> okay. Alright, this wins. And we get a little bit of money to play around with. We did drop to 70, but we can just fight again. And wipe them out. Let's see if we get the item. Did she drop it? Nope, it's okay. It's not an item that we really need. Got about 700 experience here, not too much, but it does help. We're going to upgrade this, continue to take more bonus from that, and that's about it. I can't afford him right now, but I kind of want to recruit him for historical reasons. And also Vanguard's not bad with our unique cavalry unit. We'll see how it goes. All right, I think if we just kind of walk here, he might actually come attack us because looters have shown aggression pretty much every time we faced off against them. Not much value there. All right, come and get us. It's a pretty pesky army. Melee cavalry kind of counters our crossbow and they have a siege weapon. Looks like the Leon Rebel army got thrown into the Hun forces here and got killed. Here he comes. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna take the decisive. I don't really want to fight this. And we're on our own territory, so we'll heal decently well here. Yeah, they took the blunt of the Casualties. And yeah, we can chase them down and then have time to heal before we go down to fight the looters. Ooh. Okay, the traits are not great. But Poison Volley, not a spy. Definitely a good combination. Might just grab him as well. Yes, we go negative, but post battle loot is going to keep us afloat. We have an open trade agreement, but there's no trade partner right now for us. We can either go free tax money or get higher tier horse pasture. We currently only have one horse pasture, that's the only concern. Even though it's kind of nice to keep upgrading over here. I mean, so are the free money from tax collection. And we can up actually upgrade both here. 
连接奉公，忍受苦难。We'll try to get some、uh, siege weapons later. And we'll just clean them up here. 下植于地，上残于天。都是为各自信念而战罢了。We want these redeployment cost discount. We want the extra army. We also want blade breaker later on. 前进。And we'll creep up over there. Now we're gonna put generals on the field. 秩序井然，则四海可定。I guess we will pay for the redeployment cost. There's no discount on anything right now. They're gonna cost us a bit. We're gonna have a group here to fight the rebels that spawn, and then we're also gonna have a group here to do the same thing. We'll summon them next turn. We do it. We'll send someone else. Ah,、uh, Coron got created. One eighty-seven. That doesn't happen historically until Dongzhuo takes over after one ninety. When Co when Coron becomes this rather famous scholar, Confucian descendant, you know, talking about how Dongzhuo is breaking all the rules, and Dongzhuo can't really kill him. So what ends up happening is gives him. The Beihai Princedom Chancellor position, when Beihai is under heavy yellow turban attack, so basically setting him up to fail. Ah, we have an event that can gain intimidation. We don't actually care about losing a little bit. This is good, because we have plenty. They retook it, which is excellent, actually. Ah,、uh, Cornell is leading that army, right? We're gonna just sit at the borders here and heal up for one more turn before we step in. And this at least also keeps the general from getting lack of purpose. No one else gets along with them. Okay, then let's just put you two out there for now. Uh, we could just do a food build. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. We're still bleeding money. It's because of our generals. He's a very temporary character that we just want for assignment purposes. In the future, I think we kick him. All right, pretty far away from our keys. We're gonna be okay. Where do they come from? And we wipe out the looters, then we go over here, then we go over here. Yeah, the way they design Mandate Heaven, these factions that get created. Instantly becomes like the only faction on the map that's not part of the empire, and the empire just like declares war on them instantly. All right, no one good there. Decent weapon. No one really needs it. Nobody home. Ah, it's in ruins. Not even level one. So we have to kind of upgrade that. Not the work we like to do. I think we do want to upgrade this. Just questioning. The garrison's not going to grow until tier three. Yeah, we'll upgrade it. I also don't really want to pay for this. Eventually, we probably have to, but right now we're fine. Ooh, six points. 
别来无恙了。Six point two. I Feng agree. Anybody else? Miao. Four point one's not terrible. Depending on how generous he's going to be, this is very fair. All right, everyone likes us. Let's continue. What are they trying to do? I wish the Lamb Rebels would colonize that. Oh, Hui Yi's faction got wiped? Seems like the main Yellow Turban forces are doing well. But the minor ones aren't. But that also depends on when fervor picks up, because then the interior kind of gets wrecked by the rebels that keep on spawning. The free take, not actually armied there, which means we have to spend money to upgrade it. At least we didn't have to spend money to colonize. Oh, he finally leveled up. This is kind of a pointless one, but we can get some useful ones soon. If we had more assignment slots, he'd be better off doing assignments. But that is not the case. Uh, he is administrator. We're gonna try to get these. Our assignments still going well. Should be okay. Four point four. Not bad. Although it looks like we're not gonna get much. It's probably gonna be this. Chula. We use our Qingliu Ke. Alright. So there was no battle there. We actually don't get intimidation. We dip below. Rebel spawn. We go back. We need these rebellions to actually keep us afloat. Oh, don't take it! Don't take it! Let us take it. Question is, are they strong enough to take it? Oh, Tao Tao's dad died. Died early, so I guess no blaming Tao Tian this time. A lot of bright. They're pretty weak, assuming they have a garrison. Oh, they have a huge garrison. They're not taking that. Any items? Eh, we don't care about that one. All right, can we get them a third? I guess we can do like Huang Gai, perhaps, or Fun. Mm. Let's put the three of them together. It actually makes historical sense that he doesn't like them. They did, they did end up killing him. Yeah, we didn't get the item. I mean, if we really wanted to farm for item, we could fight it manually and see if we can pick it up that way. Not worth it in my mind. It looks like a gold item. We might treat it like that. Well, he's still on the field from that animation, which means we can farm another round of intimidation. That's like 30 points. If we have more commanderies, we can do this in more places and basically use the extra points for 
some sort of diplomatic income boost. All right, we don't have a lot of money. I don't think we want to spend it on developing, so this is good enough. He can't take it. Also didn't do any colonization here, interesting. Yellow Turbans already took that over. Okay, so Dima might die before we get any sort of confederation event. Yeah, Corn already died. I wonder if he comes to us. He does not. I mean, to be fair, Don Drua hired some of the old scholars. They will come and help us fight. We don't really need them. Especially the ones that lost favor during the Eunuch Partisan Incident. Oh, we think we overflowed by a couple points. Not a big deal. They don't really need the food. I think we don't upgrade that. After we take this, we need to leave some generals there. So we either go with just free income all the way, and also corruption reduction. And we're totally happy with the fervor situation. Alright. Guess we can end the Leon Rebellion. They might actually go colonize that, and I'm okay with that. I just don't want to pay the 4,000 for a little bit extra food. It's not going to pay for itself, basically. Oh. They got aggressive here and suicided with the weak army? Like, they sieged us and didn't attack. It would make more sense. This just doesn't make a lot of sense. Actually a pretty good general. And we actually need generals for each commandery so that we can fight the rebels off. So we would take him in here. He also gets fondness for release, so at least he might not complain. Vanguard's also good. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. This is the event for... Do we end? He gets thrown where? He gets thrown in here? Okay. And the Lamb Rebellion ends! All because of Dondro. I overflow again. Keep forgetting. Okay, that's a decent building. We have two generals here that we can leave. We can throw our wife on the field too, basically. Not too bad. Now, before we overflow here, let's uh, use some of the points. We basically get the cash from our emperor. 10.3. Only a thousand something. I mean, that's good enough. Oh, 
We don't win the delegate. How strong is this guy? We have a poison volley general. And you're telling me I don't win the delegate against these? He could be unbreakable, maybe from a trait. It's the only thing I can think of. I mean, obviously these generals don't really have a lot of good items. They're still a little injured from their previous fight, which might be why the delegate value here is not so great. A little bit of injury, not too much. To juke the shots. Well, the annoying thing is. We're gonna have to kind of like kite our way back in again within like 40 seconds. I can give her a boost next time. He has no abilities. I think we actually just army lost this one. We lost 2k health that time. But they lost two units. He's not unbreakable. We'll army loss him. We're gonna go again. We got one more go. This guy's still up and pretty healthy. Might tilt it that way next time. Not a great shot. And we also took a lot of damage from towers. I think he can win this. In the meantime, I'm going to go kill the units. Looks like we're probably going to get the win here. Okay, we're ahead. Oh, we didn't capture this yet. His capture weight's too little. We're still ahead. Just do land a hit before he lands. There we go. Alright, take the win before he gets killed by Archer or the, the tower. There we go. Not too bad. It'd be better if we can delegate it. Maybe we get them some items.
Oh, but he's administrator, so I don't really want to tank. It's fine. We're only building tax collection building over there. Not a big deal. I want his authority on this, so I don't think we want to lower that. She can use this. Alright, give them a easy heal. He will stay on the field. He'll be fine. Yeah, rebellions everywhere. Every, every, like basically every turn. And it's gonna funnel into our intimidation. So no colonization. I actually don't know where we should go with this main army here. On one hand, we want to get closer to the capital. Okay, there are rumors that swarms around you that you're cruel and barbaric, yet your men do not see this. They own they see only the magnificent and dependable commander, yet now the Han has come calling, demanding your military aid, and you must put either the needs of your men or empire first. Drop intimidation, improve relationship. Yeah, that's fine. We have plenty. See? They're back. They're like the weed that keeps on coming. Not a terrible item, but not worth really farming for. Oh, we got it. And we got our 20 points back. That's why we embrace the rebellions. That comes back literally every turn. Now this time he gets a turn to heal. We could go this way and take this and go towards the capital. Or we could rush over here, take on the bandits and the rebels and control Taiyu and then go directly to war with the rebels over here. They counterattack. The John brothers are being pushed back. All right, we can take Wu Path and take a step towards Chang'an. I think it makes sense. We probably want to go negative income here and grab at least two tribuches before we take on a gate pass. We have to stay here for three turns, maybe at least two. Artisan that we picked up. We'll boost this income here. Now, the reason why this is so bad is just because fervor. There's only one county here, so there's only one set of fervor. We have four counties here, so there's four sets of fervor. It's gonna become a problem here as well. So while we still have a deployment, we hit our max army count. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Huh. What do we do here? We could shuffle an army between the two places. Like Xihe. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how we shuffle. I mean, Undine clearly is going to be an issue because he has three counties and Fervor is going to be stacked pretty high. Maybe we just have to do it through reforms now. Pick up this one extra army. That's probably what we have to do. Anyways. Okay, so Li Bu is now working for Ding Yuan, and I guess this is the start of the event for us to uh, pick up Li Bu and maybe confederate Ding Yuan. Oh, we got Red Elite as well. So when Li Bu takes our horse, we can ride that one. Do we have military access with you guys? We don't. Oh, 10.4. Generous much? Anyone else want to pay us a bunch of money? Alright, still no trade partners. I'm gonna have to wait for that. And they're back. We have our own little group here. No items. What we could do is maybe keep them on the field, the second one, before wiping them fully. That way we kind of space out Rebellion a little bit more. But there's a plus 20. Although I think we have like minus 40. Even with plus 20 twice, we would still go over. Alright, we're going to put Li Juan Guosi here. Of course they're going to go and have Rebellion next turn. gonna halt that for a turn. We'll take the negative hit. We're at 92. We can go over by two points. Not a big deal. Alright, we're gonna only heal him. Yeah, it's 42. It's rebellion every turn. If we pick up Demon's territory, we'll be here. Not a great place, but we can maybe make it work. Like Dongzhou's army can go over here, make a trip here just to show our face, and then we can walk up to Demon's territory if we get the event to pick it up. All right, State Workshop. And I think, I think we're good. Waiting for spring so that we can pick up the reform that we need. Right, there's a stack there. Not going to be an easy battle. Ah. So. We give him the red hair. Uh, we auto equip the red elite, perfect. Oh, overflow, hold on. We can pull that back. So, army limits still gonna hold us off here. 
We're gonna use this turn to summon this group. Let's get it to Lisa's small city. Alright, 11.2 虽不情愿,但我等只得照做 拿起武器! Okay, I think we're gonna take this one first because we still have to summon a bunch of generals with red news. This is a massive increase in garrison forces. I think we take this first. Be prepared for corruption reduction, I guess. Yeah, we move next turn. Not an easy target. We can also ignore it and just walk to the capital, which I think is something we have to do for some of the events. And then we can attack up to like Shandong or something like that. We get to confederate him, get to kill Ding Yuan, adopt Li Bu. Perfect. They say Li Bu is offering this gift to us. So we literally adopted him, right? He's family. Nice. Means he's free. Although, satisfaction-wise, okay, at least we get fondness. Helps a little bit. He's still at 30. I mean, 30 is fine. One set of assignment just timed out. So he's going to be at 40. We pick up a few more characters from the Confederation. Ooh, a burn officer. And you. Okay, perfect. Summoning him on the field might be a bit difficult, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, we're gonna go pick up our extra army that we really, really need. Two thousand for people to come on the field. Yeah, bit pricey. That's with the twenty-five percent discount. Oh, she has uh the item's okay, it's not something we have to have. The only thing that we have to have is like things like legalist fanatic, concubine, philosopher, something that boosts satisfaction. That's kind of what we need the most right now. It's also a great experience for our units. Now we do want to recall a few of them. 
All right, we could afford to pull here. Is there any chance we can pick this up soon? No. Too, too far away from that. We could summon Nubu here. Pretty good timing. Right, they have a rebellion. We have a lot of points to use next turn. We're negative income. Um, we need someone to pay us. Huanyu, He's actually pretty generous. Yeah, probably we'll be able to hold this, we'll be fine. We gotta move. This is a negative income, so I don't know if we actually want that, but we could pick up a decent amount of post battle loot by fighting this. We can also sack it, we don't have to hold it. We can raise it to the ground, basically. Yeah, I think that's that's the plan. This is the event against Dealing. Wait, two generals? Did I miss the turn they spawn or did they just spawn with intensity? Oh, hold on. Also, we're not full health. Twelve points. Three, I think. Ming Yun Nan Tao, what on Jerde Jesho? Obviously, we can beat them if we fight it. This is more passive. We're gonna have to let them attack us. I'll find him some help. Anyone like him? Anyone not hate him? Well, Junglin likes him. Not surprised. Our wife is okay with him. I mean, adopted mother now. <laughs> Very good item, but uh, I think we're going to snatch Domin's and give that one to basically give it to Domin here. And then hopefully we can pick up the axe to get the 10 points of satisfaction boost. There's walls here, so we'll see how they siege. 
right. This fight. We're just gonna have to do it again. I can definitely kill him too. Alright, we're gonna do all the work. Not too bad. Yeah, now we have Flame of Phoenix plus four poison volleys and decent items. Even if we can't delegate, we can do a quick battle like this. Alright, I'm gonna keep them on the field actually here. Give them a chance to go heal. Give them a chance to go heal. I should be leading. Oh, they ran away. Interesting. Then we delegate and then raise. Or we could take. Hmm, actually, let's see. Keep it or raise it down. Get intimidation. No money. No imperial favor damage for raising. We have 88. It would push us over. Let's keep it. 必将降临此城. 50 upkeep per turn. Kind of hurts. Eventually we need this. It's only tier 1. I mean, the benefits we get a heal. Then we're going to creep up this way and try to land on the other side, see what we can take out. If we can catch this army, that would also be great. I'm not sure if we can. We're not going to spend money on upgrading. We, we don't have money. And we have exhausted our diplomatic options as well. Is there a chance of us going over during post battle? Eh, maybe, but I think that's fine. They're most likely going to siege and not attack. Oh, you found a new home? Uh, Luger found a new home too. Okay, so he's running too far away. We're not. Oh, he pulled back. Interesting. No base finally destroyed. New home is killed. Or he dies. Natural causes. No base going to fate. No one wants to join us. It'll hurt. Okay, so they backed off. Oh, uh, we didn't activate. This is our mistake. We should have done this assignment a while ago. Um, what do we do with him? I think we give him a title regardless. Patrol commander for now. Huh. 
I don't know if we want to give him a title. I can't give everyone a title. I guess we risk turncoat. There's like not much else we can do. Like, they're gonna run if we go down, so I don't think we wanna do that. We wanna take this chance to visit the capital. Ah, uh, we heard the Emperor just died. We're just, you know, paying our respect now. Nothing suspicious. Decently healthy. I don't know if we can beat this in the delegate or not. I mean, we do have Liu Bu. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. All right. It's good to know. We're gonna let them stay alive on the field. Okay, aside from the satisfaction crisis, because we kind of overlooked the situation. Ooh, I do want to upgrade this, but our money is really tight. We still want walls. We're going to do it. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Could be worse. That's that's basically what we're going to tell ourselves. Okay, I want Benjon to lose as much land as possible. We don't want to go disrupt this big push by the Yellow Turbans. Oh, going back to try to take the pass. Bladin's killed. This is this is historically the moment that we show up. We're right, right here on the gate doors. We're doing the right thing. Can rush over. You know, eventually a eunuch will come and take the emperor and flee. The imperial army gets dissolved because Bladin dies. So the strongest army's gone. We're not going to take the capital, like, by force. We hopefully will get the event. Alright, they can pick up whoever they want. And we'll make sure we get the other assignment out there, too, before we forget. Then that should fix everyone's satisfaction. Yeah, we can manage three commanders right now. Ah, overflow. Let's use it. You guys are weak right now, right? 13.2. Okay, okay. They're, they're generous. Any chance Hezin's items are here? Nope. Suifeigane, Okay, 
Okay. Then we'll leave this group alone. We got money. I guess we could bolster the garrison, but as you can see, it's probably not enough. I could trade it to Bianzhang, who's also at war with them, so he'll probably still lose it. So we can get it back that way. Hmm. Do I want to pass? I don't want to pass. You got any items on you? You got any cash on you? Only 9.5. It's not a lot. Okay, I don't think he's giving me a thousand. Oh, I lied. He will give me that much money. Alright. And then we'll throw that money into developing the land that we do have. I don't know about this. Eh, let's upgrade it. It's fine. We'll see if we can trigger the event. It should be at our start of turn, I think, if it does trigger. And then we can go back and save the pass that works out for us. Bloodzian's killed by... Yeah, that's move the character into the county. Guess what we are doing. Right there. Oh, Yan Bai Hu's available. We're grabbing him. Another burn officer. Uh, another assassin. Two levels away. That's too much. We're gonna just grab Yan Bai Hu. Can we... Hmm. Tall strategist in the future. <laughs> Ruthless pragmatism. Plus four food. Minus two population. <laughs> he uh he killed some civilians and made jerky out of them to feed the army. Which is why this is the case. And uh he fed it to Tall's army. Yeah. Cruel. It was desperate times. It, it was a massive famine. Practical, but yeah, cruel. Uh, what are we going to do here? We are going to move our army in and out of Loyal. We have to be in and out. So we want to actually go back. Wait, if we just end... Uh, move, there we go. We arrive. Okay, He Jin has broken to the inner forces. That's basically Cao Cao and Yuan Shao. Goes to the inner residence, slotting the eunuch, all who conspire with them. There's probably more event after this. We're gonna sag back over here in case we need to go rescue our path. But we'll also be close enough to trigger anything else. We're at. 96, we need to spend it, because obviously we get rebellions every turn. We don't have money for characters. This is what happens when you spend cash on uh, luxury upgrades like gate passes. How close are we? Yeah, we're pretty far away with prestige. I mean, if we pick up... Oh, wait. Withdraw first. Diplomacy. So, yeah. We want to empty out their cash reserve right now. Because if we confederate them, we don't get this. 
Yeah, they'll be paying for everything we need for a little bit. Characters. Some buildings. I think this is the burn officer. Oh, they actually didn't wipe them in one go, which is good because we get 20 points instead of 10. Chen Ah, uh, guess we have to fight it. We're pretty healthy. They just don't respect this combination. They don't understand what damage Poison Volley does. I'll go kill that. Alright, so now we can get a second round of payment. Fourteen point seven, a little bit lower, but that's fine. Sui Fei Gan Nei, Bu De Bu Ye. Wei Jia Hai Nei, Luan Shi Sui Ding. Luan Jun, Zhong Yu Deng Yi Ping Xi. This time, I'll kill you. 向前進軍,再一次感受到了家的溫暖。I think we're going to wipe them here. 平此一戰,可定天下。放了他們。Alright, with how much money we got here, we're gonna take it. Wait, comes a level one? Uh, I guess no, it shouldn't come at ruin. 
Try to make her unbreakable here be good. Alright, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what event triggers during this. Well, they failed. Should have held. Okay. That's Lil Bell's army. Now they backed off. Okay, so we can focus on events near the capital. Alright, Yanshaw left. He's probably gonna get wiped. No longer Empress. We poison her, right? That that's So as you continue your approach to the capital, you spy a group moving towards you at high speed with a carriage in tow. The eunuchs have taken the young emperor hostage and are fleeing. Your men make quick work of the guards and emperor is at is left at your mercy. You realize that his younger brother would be a far more pliable emperor. And with your army and the power you would gain, you could become the strongest force in the land. Okay, so a little bit of confusion about why he decided that he want to pick Liu Xie over Liu Bian. Right, the two brothers that are the sons of Emperor Liu Hong. Um, the reason here is not because he's more pliable and he's younger. Well, that does play a part, but like Liu Bian is not that old either. They're both very, very young, around 10 e uh, years old each. Uh, Liu Bian maybe earlier into his teens. And that's not the reason why. Like, in romance, it's described that Liu Xie comes out very smart, is able to answer things, not afraid, and Liu Ben is kind of like cowering in fear through all this chaos that's kind of engulfed the capital. But if you think about it, wouldn't you want the puppet emperor to be one who is, you know, the less capable one? You wouldn't pick the more capable one, even if they're younger. The reason it's more because of imperial in-laws and who controls power in court. Liu Ben is the birth son, or, you know, has blood uh, linkage to his mother, Empress He, and the He clan. So even with He Jin dead, He Mel was still alive when Dong Zhuo first got the emperor, even though he would die very soon in, in fighting in the capital, because he's blamed for the death of He Jin. Uh, he's also a half-brother. And there are other members like Yuan Shan and Cao Cao who are sort of allies to the He clan. So if you remove Liu Bian, who is the son of the He clan, and you pick uh, Liu Xie, who is born by a concubine, uh, his birth mother is already killed by Empress He out of jealousy. So he was raised by his grandmother, Empress Dowager Dong. And because of this, he had the nickname of Lord Dong when he was growing up. So Dong Zhuo having the same surname, not from the same clan, but having the same surname, felt like that he could sort of link himself to Liu Xie better than he could to Liu Bian. And he could rise up to become a regent through having this surname and by supporting Empress Dowager Dong and blaming the death of Empress Dowager Dong on Empress He, which is how he ended up, um, you know, poisoning her and killing Empress He, uh, along with uh, Liu Bian. Alright, we're gonna follow history. We actually triggered all the correct events. And we have a massive food problem, but we also picked up a lot of land. The Naman has spawned. We're gonna fight one of the rebel forces just so that we get the save. So that we lock in this result. It has worked out beautifully for us. And if everything goes according to plan, I think we also will gain weight soon. So right now we're still we're still lightweight, don't draw. I think after this trigger we should become fat, don't draw. So we gain all the previous Han territory, including a little beachhead in the north, which probably will get lost. Uh, we might sell that to one of the factions, even though it is food. Uh, we're just going to downgrade this a little bit to fix our food issue. It's not a 
big problem. Uh, eventually, Dong Zhuo raises to the ground. Maybe we get that event too. We'll see as he retreats back to Chang'an. So maybe we get to confederate them as well. Uh, we'll see how the game take care of that transition. But things have gone by beautifully. We have the Han Empire as our vassal state. We have confederated. So we have Empress Hill with us. Even though she's very pissed off at us. We're going to be able to rank up quite a bit and have more court positions to kind of figure things out. Is Empress Ho the only character we got? Yeah, we didn't have a spare army slot, so we didn't pick up any armies, and we didn't have any more relatives here. And we have the Emperor in our capital, which we can move in the future, but we have the Emperor as well. So yeah, that's looking good. Now we just have to go win the Mandate War, and we'll go from there. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you all next time. Bye!